An adult content creator is facing backlash for filming herself sleeping with as many students as possible oh and gosh. posting it to OF. People are claiming Bonnie Blue's behavior is predatory and that yeah. she's effectively taking advantage of teenagers. She's insisted to us that she films content with inexperienced students for both their benefit and hers, but we'll get back to that later. So who is Bonnie Blue? 25 year old Jesus. Bonnie is known for touring around universities in Freshers Weeks and making content sleeping with with students who queue down the street for hours. She says she had with 158 men in oh two weeks gosh. over Nottingham Freshers. A uni student, a group of friends, or you've just turned 18 years old. We want to have some fun. She has Bonnie's turned. earned millions in a year, had loads of media attention, and recently appeared on GK Barry's Saving Grace podcast. But Grace has been criticised for not scrutinising her work more, because people are questioning how vulnerable these young men are, and if they're well informed enough to know what they're consenting to. You can read Bonnie's statement in in full below but she told us any students or barely yeah. legal 18 year olds I make content with have chosen to contact me given consent and allowed me to film no one is ever pressured or even contacted by myself it's their decision and their bodies two things I think the world is effed just because if this was a man which did this exact same thing he would be jailed if you look at the other guy his name is P Diddy we're gonna send that guy to Christ very, very soon, right? Because he's a man, he's a black man. It's even worse if you're, if you're a black man and you're doing these kind of things, that's crazy, but this is a white woman. So of course, the outrage isn't the same, but it is predatory behavior because you're going to college students and most of these, what, 18 year old boys, they're very vulnerable. So if we look at an 18 year old girl, and we say she's super vulnerable, she doesn't know what she's doing. If she's at a party and she maybe drinks something, people are like, whoa, you should not even give an 18 year old girl anything to drink. Why don't we have the exact same rules for a woman like this? This is predatory behavior 100%. And I do not understand why we're not canceling her OnlyFans page and everything. Why? Because if you look at it, what, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's not doing the exact same thing. He's, what, dating models. And those models are, what, 25, 24 to 25, somewhere around that. Okay, maybe 20 to 25 at that age range. And people want to cancel Leonardo DiCaprio for that. So I think we're being a little bit hypocrites when we don't call this out because it's not illegal. They're 18 year old boys and of course they're consenting to it. But if a woman can do this, then if a man wanted to do this as well, that person should not be crucified for it. Then again, there's a huge conversation about this I don't think that this is right. I don't think personally, I don't think that this is right. But then again, if that is the law of the land, that is the law of the land. But then we can't criticize men for doing the exact same thing. I, I just think it's very, very weird. And you're with college students. It's a different thing if you're out, you're partying. That's a totally different thing. But you're going to colleges because you want to date younger men and then we're not even talking about what the std angle about this like she can contract something and give it think of all of these boys that are sleeping with her. that's in one weekend but then again it's hookup culture and that's how it is it's very a lot of this is demonic behavior if i'm being honest it's very demonic and you know i think the best thing to do guys right now is just Find yourself a good girl, wife her up, and try to stay in a relationship for as long as you can. What is up, guys? My name is Yambo Davidson, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've traveled the world, and one of the most irritating things 
are flight delays. I just hate it when my flight gets delayed. That is why we've partnered up with today's video sponsor, AirHelp. AirHelp helps you claim up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. So sign up today and earn up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. The link is in the description. When I was flying from Namibia to Sweden, my flight was delayed. So I used AirHelp actually and they did wonders. So I actually earned 600 euros and I did not have to pay for that flight, which was amazing. Sign up today. This isn't gonna sit well with a lot of people, but there's actually a scientific reason. If you're one of those women that finds yourself attracted to taken men, men wearing a wedding ring, or if you had a friend that you weren't attracted to, now you now he just got a girlfriend and you feel a little bit attracted to him, there's a scientific reason for that. It's like a primitive thing. And the reason is you're a hoe. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Why do women do this? Why are there so many women destroying men's lives? And why is it so common? Why is it that in our culture, we have story after story of yeah. a woman who has a child with a man, goes mm -hmm. through a female midlife crisis, looking for beauty, sex, independence, fame, takes the child away from that man, and in that, decides to say that she's afraid for her life. She goes on to ruin his reputation, she mm. enters into the court system, she files protective orders and restraining orders, okay. preventing that man from seeing his children. In addition to that, that man is alienated from his friends and family. She lies to them about what is happening about how abusive he is, how evil that man is, and how she was forced to leave. Why is this happening over and over? You have to think from this perspective, if you're a product, people love exclusivity. That's what they love. And women love that more than anything. So if you are dating a girl, don't ever, ever stop talking to other girls, flirting with other girls, don't do it. Because whether you want to accept it or not, women like guys that other women want. That's it. So when you do get in a relationship, usually what happens is you stop talking to people. You stop hanging out with your friends. You're just hanging out with her. And trust me, I've been there. So it's not just a this guy thing. It's not just a me thing. It's a global thing. A desired man makes a woman act right. So if there's any advice, don't stop pursuing excellence. Don't stop being the great and charming person that you are just for her. If you're charismatic, continue being that fun guy because then she's always gonna be interested in you. So all of these guys which are like, oh, I don't know what happened. I, we were together and, and something. No, what happened is you stopped being a man. You stopped being the product. You stopped being the Lamborghini. You stopped being the Ferrari. That's what you stopped being. Then you became a Volvo, no, no, not a Volvo. Even worse, uh, Toyota. Toyota is boring. Go back to being a Lamborghini and she is not gonna wanna leave you. Her attraction is going to come back. I mean, there's so many stories of husbands which their wives cheated on them. And then they say, okay, I understand. Then they start dating another girl. And then all of the sudden, the wife wants them back. And why is that? If it's happening everywhere in the world, maybe it's just female nature. Maybe that's just how it is. So I'm sick and tired of watching videos like this where guys are constantly complaining about like, I don't know what happened, but it has happened to every single person in the world. This story is as old as time. I think about this so often, but you know those actors or actresses that constantly get um, hired to play roles where like they're the ugly, the ugly role or like mm. the ugly girl or like the dumb girl or the fat girl, slash boy. <laughs> every single movie they play, every single show Jonah they play. Hill. They're constantly like, oh, yeah, you're hired to be the other. Yeah. Like, is this offensive to say? It? I don't think so. But no, look, I don't under I just don't understand how that doesn't take a an extreme toll on your mental. Like, I don't understand how you you are not just like dying. Like, how? How do you do that?
I understand what you're saying, right? But it's like this. If you're an ugly person and you are getting these roles, like Jonah Hill, for instance, he's, he's not an ugly person, but he's a fat person. And you're getting these roles. As an ugly person, you're like, hey, I'll take what I can get. He knows that he's not a Brad Pitt. I mean, Jonah Hill and Brad Pitt, if you were to compare the two, it's, it's night and day. I view people more like paintings and not really like, oh, that person's beautiful, that person's ugly, because people have a lot of diverse traits which can be beautiful. You could be a very unattractive person, but the way you speak is very attractive. Then again, you're just as beautiful as your strongest trait. I told my boyfriend of eight years that this weekend I would be going out of state mm. to go visit a friend. There you go. But I'm lying. What I'm really doing is packing up and moving to another state to start okay. a brand new life, actually. Mm. Before you say anything, though, you need to hear me out, okay? We have been together for a while, okay? And a while, eight years, I asked him a couple of times if he was thinking about getting married, and that was more towards the beginning of the relationship, but I didn't hear anything. Obviously, I acted weird. I acted moody. I acted like I just didn't want to be around him because why are you not giving me the answers that I need? So he just starts... First of all, is it safe driving while TikToking? Leave it in the comment section because I'm like, stop the car, do your TikTok, and then drive. Is social media so important for you that you have to risk every single person's life just so you can get your TikTok off? But then again, TikToking and driving is the new trend, I guess conversations talking about when we have our wedding we're gonna x y and z or whenever we have children you know their names are gonna be x y and z the thing that really pissed me off okay is this man took me into a jewelry store so that i could look at rings and choose a ring that i liked so my dumbass was obviously yeah that's foul his building up this illusion of that you're gonna get married and he never pulls through with it. I say go full in, get married to her, but still flirt with other girls because the day she sees that she, no girl wants you, that is the day that she's going to dry up. Picking a ring, thinking we're going to leave with one. I was so happy and excited. And then when I chose the ring, he said, okay, you ready to go? Should we Damn. go have dinner? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, I just wanted you to pick a ring. Eventually, when we get married, I'll get you something just like that. So I obviously asked him, when exactly are you thinking about actually proposing so that we can get married? Well, here's the thing. I actually don't want to get married anytime soon. Mm. Anytime soon, you and I have been together for almost eight years. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mm. He said he just was not ready for that. Mm. So you know what I did? Yeah, that was two weeks ago. I actually decided two weeks ago that I am going to move to another state close to where my family is <clears throat> and I'm just going to start a new life. Why should I have to sit around for this man to make up his mind whether or not he wants to spend the rest of his life with me? She's 100% right and this man is wrong for leading her on. But I say this always, people, they date themselves. Okay? So if you're talking to a girl or you're going out with somebody, usually they just want a mirror so they can reflect themselves. And if she's going through something or they're going through something they don't know, it's because they're really going through something. It really has nothing to do with you. That's why I do not understand people which come on the internet and they start complaining about what their girlfriend's leaving them. Because if you rephrase that, it's the girl, she's dating herself. She's making herself feel all of these things. You literally could not answer her text and she's going crazy over the fact that you didn't text her back. Why? It's because she's dating herself. And once you start to figure that out, then it's almost like you have a cheat code to it.